just saying happy holidays and you know just to be specific look merry christmas and now we're getting ready to put out you know some scallop some cheesy scallop potatoes these are super easy to make i'm gonna have you guys come in here and look at these ingredients but for me it's about having the family around at christmas time and then you put out your good dishes that's why i'm gonna be using this I got several dishes like this. Sometimes I put my mac and cheese in there. But these are just some ideas to show you guys and to change up, you know, what to do on Christmas. Now, when you're looking at these ingredients, right? Look, there's not a whole lot. Of course, you got to have the potatoes because these are, you know, cheesy. You know, we got our cheeses. We got butter, all of that, right? We got our seasoning, flour, all of that. But look, this is real easy. And I'm going to tell you what really makes it easy. And that's one of these. These right here have a bad rap, folks. This is right here. It's called a mandolin. If you use a mandolin, when it was, you know, intended to be used, this right here is a guard, y'all. You put this inside of the potato, you stab it, and then you move this back and forth. Don't try to hold it with your hand or slide this back and do it the easy, fast way, because this right here will slice off a piece of your finger. Now, with all that being said, we finna get it, folks. Okay, so look, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get yourself a bowl, put some cold water in it, because we're getting ready to use that mandolin, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and set this here. Look, now I'm getting ready to, and I don't know if I need to say this, but listen, these have already been washed, you know, and dried, and it's been sitting up here. But I want you to take a look at this. I'm going to take the first ones I did, and then I ran a little test. If you guys take a look, look at that. I like the thinner ones better. These are more like for the potato chip, right? I'm going to go ahead and just drop a couple of these in there, but this is the size I'm going to use. I hope you guys are able to see that. Nice and thin, right? So, now I'm getting ready to run through this these potatoes and get everything going. We're just gonna run through it real fast. Right? Use the guard, put it here on the top like this. I got it set. And now we just go back and forth. You don't have to put no pressure on it, just back and forth. I'll just show you what I'm doing right here. Put them in here right so they don't turn brown, right? But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these, put these over here in the sink. And I'm gonna rinse these and get a lot of this starch off of them. I'm gonna clean up my board, and then we're gonna move to the next step. Look, it moves really, really quick from here, and this is where it comes, you know, comes into play. It's really about your dish, because like I said, it's the holiday, you wanna put something out there. Look, if you wanna say Christmas, the way I'm gonna arrange these inside of this right here, that says Christmas, it says something elegant, and we know it's good. So just let me go ahead and get these rinsed and get the starch off of them. I want you guys to pay attention to this. Look, after me keep pushing these down, look how clean my water is, right? So what I'm gonna do now is put my hand over it like this, and I'm gonna drain this off. Okay, so look, we got them all drained. What I did was I just lined my cutting board, you know, with a bunch of these, I guess, scallops, you know what I mean? I'm gonna call them chips for right now. I just spread them out this way, because look, I'm gonna start patting them dry, right? Just wanna get them, get them out. Let them air dry a little bit. We're going to pat them. I don't know. If you guys got a better way of doing this, please let me know. You know what I mean? This is the way I've been doing it, you know, forever. This, this is the way I was taught. Obviously, you know, I lined my bowl, paper towel, so any residual to help it come off. Don't worry about these browning, you know what I mean? Like we just want to make sure we get these, you know, to, to dry as much as possible. I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna put them right there. Now we're gonna go ahead and work with this cheese, right? So I'm getting ready to grade myself. You know, I like just a little fine cheese, right? I mean, a fine grater. This right here, when you do it like this, look, I'm gonna show you why. Look at the size of it. This right here, when you're making cheese sauces, you wanna use the small. You know what I mean? Reason being, it melts much quicker, folks. And I got it, you can look at some of my videos when I do it on this side. I was doing this, I guess I just, I wasn't taught that way. These still, this still, this size does still work, right? But it's much better when you go ahead and do it the small size. You put a little bit in at a time and it disappears so quick, it just dissolves. Okay, so look, we shredded all our cheese, right? I went ahead, put this on low. You know, you want to get your saucepan. Look, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my, my butter, right? Once this is completely melted, then we're gonna work in our flour. Now look, I'm using hex clay, right? Hex clay pots. You can use, look, they non-stick. You can use, you know, metal utensils inside of them. That's why I like them. I just suggest everybody else to use non-stick, you know, pots and pans. You know what I mean? If they go ahead and get some uh, bamboo or some wooden utensils. But these right here just work just fine. 
Okay, so now would be a good time to go ahead and get yourself some non-stick spray. You know what I mean? And uh, spray, you know, your dish, how you want to display them, right? And this is what we're going to cook them in. But if you don't use non-stick, you know, uh, spray, you guys can always use a, uh, you know, take a uh, stick of butter, just go around, do it old school like grandma used to do. Right? Now, I want to tell you guys, look, now would be a good time to go ahead and preheat your oven to 400 degrees. I'm already there. I should have said that earlier, but listen, that's the cooking temp. 300, excuse me, 400 degrees. Okay, so look, right here you can see that, you know, my butter's melted, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead, start adding my flour to it. Now I want you to pay attention. You notice how I add a little bit at a time, right? This, help, this helps it so that it doesn't, you know, clump up, you know what I mean? And then, you know, that's like the best way. I've seen people put it all in there like that. They just work it down, but for me, I like to do it this way. This is a little bit more on the full piece side. So now I'm getting ready to go ahead and start adding my, adding my half and half. Remember, everything at a, you know, in increments. Right? Now, once we got everything incorporated, we don't see any lumps. I'm gonna go ahead and let this come up to a simmer. And once it becomes up to a, comes up to a simmer, we're gonna go ahead and start adding some of our cheese. So now we're gonna start adding a little cheese to it, right? See how I'm adding it, just a little bit at a time. I'm using this whisk, I'm keeping it moving, and it dissolves almost immediately, you know, from the heat. That's what happens when you use them, you know, the small size when you shred it yourself. Okay, so once you got all your cheese, you know, incorporated in here, right? So I want you to take a look. You can see how I like pull it behind. That right there is what you want. It's not too thick, you know what I mean? Uh, you can only get so much like this, but you can see that when you pour this on there, it's gonna work, right? Now for the next step. Don't forget to turn your fire off. If it gets too thick, all you gotta do is add some more half and half to it. Now. Okay, so look, now I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of olive oil, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and just give it a, you know, a little wash like that. The reason being, I'm gonna get in here with my hand and I'm gonna help coat some of these. You know what I mean? Uh, we just toss them back and forth, let them all exchange some of the oil. You don't need a whole lot. We just want them to, you know, get sticky. And that's an infused olive oil, you guys. Listen, I can smell it right now. Mm. Okay, so I tumble these around. You know, now I'm gonna go ahead and take my seasoning, you know what I mean, that we had right there. And look at what I'm gonna do here. My hands are dry. I'm getting ready to just sprinkle a little bit of this on top. Now you understand why we put that olive oil on there, right? And it helps it like crisp up just a little bit, you know what I mean? But we finna drown it with all of that flavor, you know, and that cheese, that cheese brings a unique flavor to the, you know, to the party, right? So we just give it a toss like this. I got a little level up for you though, literally. Just give it a second. Check it out, folks. We finna level this up with this A series right here. You can see they all nicely coated. You know what I mean? I done tumbled them back and forth. Now, you want to go ahead and grab yourself some of these just like this, right? I kind of like put them in the order like this. It gets a little tricky because we got to line this whole thing up. Now, you can lay them down like regular scallops. You know what I mean? Uh, that's the normal way of everybody, you know, doing them. But I want you to pay attention to what we're doing here. All right? This just, we just leveling up our presentation. sauce a little bit just to help it so that it'll pour right right now for the magic folks look here we go
Okay, so look, you guys can see it completely covered, cheese nice and thick, right? What you want to do is you want to cover it, right? We're going to cover it with some foil. Don't forget to dull side down when you're using the foil, right? I'm not going to put nothing on there super tight because some of the potatoes are a little, really above, you know, my dish, right? So we'll leave it like that. We're going to put it in the preheated oven. It's already at 400 degrees and we're going to put it in for 30 minutes. All right, I'll see you in just a minute. Put out here, you know what I mean? Uh, you let everybody just go ahead and spoon from this. If these scallop, cheesy potatoes don't get it, then nothing will. And again, don't forget, stay to the end. You know, at the end, I have some of my cards, give you guys some suggestions on, you know, on what to do as far as uh, like what you want to make, right? Now, I'm getting ready to start doing some protein. I think I'm gonna do a pot roast. You know, that's a good, you know, protein to put out, you know, on your Christmas dinner uh, table. And I think uh, I'm gonna do a, a prime rib. So you guys stay on the lookout for that. And listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? Merry Christmas. I'm out.